her homestead skills again and today I'm going to make some cranberry sauce and that's a really simple and easy process um, so anyway let's get to it okay as I said the uh, recipe to make cranberry sauce is right on the bags I bought three bags of cranberries here and I've washed them and they are ready to go in a large pot now <laughs> the issue I have on this particular bag normally it's one cup of water with one cup of sugar with one bag of cranberries and this particular <clears throat> bag maybe it's a smaller amount of cranberries I don't know uh, they say only 200 milliliters of water great so you've got cups on the one hand and millimeter measurements on the other strange not the way it's done and that is not quite a cup of water but we're going to go with a cup of water for each bag so three bags well we'll go two and a half cups of water for the three bags that ought to take care of that measurement okay put that on to boil and we want three cups of sugar so my half cup measurement will fit in this gallon jug that I keep sugar in so I'm going to need six half cup measurements so one things to actually make and I do make cranberry sauce once or twice a year at this time of year and have it on hand for the turkeys I also use it for chicken I found that it's really tasty when I have roasted chicken and why not it's good for one bird it'll be good to use as a condiment for another okay so we'll just wait till that comes to a boil everything is mixed up and all the berries pop and I'm going to prepare my jars to can this okay and the idea is to uh, cook these until the berries pop approximately five minutes which I have done now and I've turned off the heat and I'm gonna let this foam subside just a bit it did foam right up and I had to take it off the heat. I wasn't paying attention, but it's fine. Everything's fine. The berries have all popped. Uh, and I'm not looking to make uh, jelly. I'm looking to make cranberry sauce. So this is all we need to do. Uh, now I'm just going to jar this up. And I've got <clears throat> my jar soaking in hot water. And we'll prepare all that. And we'll jar this up. And then we will water bath can these. Okay. Alrighty, so I have a dozen jars prepared. I don't think it's going to take that much, but uh, you never can tell. So there's a dozen jars ready. The jars are warm and because the berries are still very hot. So I'm just going to ladle them into the jars. Now this amount of cranberry um, Cranberries allows me to uh, bring some over to uh, friends and relatives when I have dinner with them during the holidays. Uh, I'm always asked for cranberry sauce because everyone knows I make it. So, well, we might use this dozen jars, and I like them in these small jars because that's the amount that I use up at a well maybe one or two sittings. I don't like to leave a lot of opened jars in the fridge. Oh, this smells good. Very nice. And as usual, my habit of 
filling the jars first rather than doing them one at a time. I notice other people like to do one jar at a time. And this is likely something that I picked up from my mother doing hundreds of jars of tomatoes at a time. That you do one function at a time and it goes quicker and easier. up close to this dozen jars. Very good. That one might be just a tad full, but we'll adjust that. that are a little bit low. Get a little extra. And we have nine, three, three, six, nine here, which is about what I expected. So we're getting about three jars per bag, three half pints per bag. Not bad. Okay, the one that had just had too much is getting it removed. And I think we're fine for headspace everywhere else. Just going to tidy this up and get my lids ready. Okay, definitely need vinegar with this because um, you've got sugar in this, so that's going to be fairly sticky. And you want to clean the edges off real good. So, vinegar. Now, this is where I may do one jar at a time. I've washed the lids and just placed them in warm water. So, new lids. I have no issue getting lids. And these jars are still very hot. So, I don't have my canner ready. I'm hoping to use the same pot, but I don't think I can. I don't think it's going to be big enough. Just fine. Christmas if I find that I'm low. Big 
because this is the time of year that you get cranberries. Okay, so now we'll just get the uh, water bath canner ready. Okay, I think I've stated in the past that I do not use a dedicated uh, water bath canner. I use whatever, and I do have a number of very large, high quality, you know, very heavy stainless steel pots. And uh, <clears throat> this one will work. Uh, any, any pot will double as a water bath canner, which is a little bit different than a pressure canner. With a pressure canner, you need a specific type of canner. <clears throat> and I, I purchased these just from the Asian market, and I could, I could double them up. That'll raise it a little bit. And this water is already very hot, so... Now, the only issue is that you have uh, an inch of water above the lids of the jars. And uh, we're not going to have an issue there. We're going to be able to fill this right up and have an inch to spare. Well, I do have to add some more water. I'm going to do that right now. As long as the water is fairly hot going in, it's not going to do any damage to the jars. Because the jars are filled with a hot liquid as well. Now, if this was an issue, I could have taken that lower rack out. I put two racks in there, didn't need them both. But I'm fine here. Okay, so. I'll bring this up to a boil. Okay, there appears to be different uh, times uh, to uh, process cranberries in a water bath canner, depending on your altitude, which is kind of odd to me. Um, but for me, at a thousand, uh, at my altitude, uh, 15 minutes is the required time to process this once it comes to a boil. So that's what we'll do. We'll time It's not quite boiled yet, it's almost there. And then we'll process for 15 minutes. I also did add a splash of vinegar. I'm going to add a little bit more. There wasn't much left in that dish. I really don't like my jars getting cloudy. Okay, timer is going off. I just have to get my jar lifter. Alrighty, turn that off before it becomes really irritating. And these have been bubbling away like mad for the last 15 minutes. recipe possible. And there are certainly things that you can do to spice it up. I could have added orange, which would probably give it a, a fairly interesting flavor. Now I could also do that uh, uh, with my orange extract. I believe I've got, I've made up some orange extract uh, or lemon ex extract. Um, you might consider adding cinnamon. I don't know if I would want to do that. Um, but it's quite nice, just very simple and plain with the sugar. And uh, that's what I've done every year. I, I may try to experiment by adding some spice of some sort. If I like it, I may do it that way in the future. Fully canned. Okay, that's it. Now we just wait for those to pop and seal and cool and then we will uh, date them and 
put them in storage. So there's quick and easy cranberry sauce. Why buy from a can? So this is Tony from for Homestead Skills. I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, they're already starting to pop and seal. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, hopefully we'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day. Thank you.